today we have features such as this wooden boardwalk to walk through a much smaller and drier swamp than what would have been seen in colonial times when the dismal swamp stretched from the James River in Virginia all the way to the Albemarle Sound in North Carolina, covering approximately 1.28 million acres. Today's swamp is much smaller and much drier, but still holds many interesting clues to the past. While not always seen, the park's abundant wildlife leaves ample evidence of its presence, such as wood like this that has been scratched or chewed by bears. The black bears that call the Dismal Swamp home number about 300, and it's not unusual to find scat or tracks along the trail. Moonshining flourished in the Dismal Swamp during the years of Prohibition. It was the perfect place to hide illegal stills in hopes that federal agents would not discover them. Today, you can see the remains of some real stills dating to about the 1960s along the Supplejack Trail, along with this full-size replica that shows how moonshine was produced. Unfortunately, it is and remains illegal to produce moonshine in any quantity in the United States due to its dangers. Lighter boats, also known as shingle flats or gondolas, were the original craft of the Dismal Swamp Canal. When fitted with a covered top, they could be used to transport tourists who visited the swamp in the 1800s much as we do today. Primarily, however, they were used to move shingles, which were one of the top products produced from swamp timber. The cypress and cedar produced durable, long-lasting wood that was good for furniture and many other things. Many of the enslaved people who worked in the swamp, either making shingles or digging the canal, also used it to seek freedom. Some passed through just briefly on journeys to other parts of the country where they could be free, while some, who became known as Maroons, established permanent colonies deep in the swamp where they raised their families under difficult conditions, but at least they were able to be free. 